Okay, I think it's on. All right. So let's get through this. The faster I get through this, the quicker it will be on your lives. We're going to talk about the first one. The first one right here is called an AND game. Most of you guys know what an AND in math is. Most of the people should know what an AND in math is. AND means to add. Or in some cases, AND means whatever overlaps when you graph, right? When you do the number line, and then when you do the arrows, and when you color it in. It also means that whatever's combined, whatever overlaps is the answer. On this one, this is called an OR gate. OR gate, most of you guys should be able to familiarize with yourselves. It's either, it's either OR. Okay? The sentence means either this or that. So that means it doesn't have to overlap. So we're going to go through the truth table first, and then we'll go through how these answers my inputs are A and B for both of them. So we're going to have A and B just like this. One, two, three, four. You guys took a quiz on this, so you guys should know what goes in those boxes by now. Okay? The ones and zeros. This is my ones place. This is my twos place. I want to get 0, 1, 2, 3 in this combination of binary numbers. The easiest one. Who wants to do the easiest one? The first one. Mr. Tyson, what is the first one? What is it? 0, 0, because that's how we count at 0 for binary. Very good. What's the next one? 0, 1. Perfect. And then 1, 0. And then 1-1. One, one. You should memorize that because you're going to do that multiple times here. We're going to go through the rows and find out what the answers are for this value. Now, I'm going to do a specific thing for both of them. Um, this is how I learned it. I'm going to make it so it's not gender bias in a way. We cut. These two, these two gates are trying to look for a date. Could be a girl, could be a guy. It could be whatever your preference is, however the case may be. On a date, this person is very picky, really picky, super picky. Okay? It only wants the best of the best. You can't have, I, if you don't have both of these, I ain't going to date you in any shape or form. So this one wants all ones. It only turns on if it's all ones. Okay? So, we're going to go through this and you're going to tell me which one of these will make this logic gate work the bottom one only the bottom one one and one okay zero zero you don't have the two criterias I need we're not going for it this one you have one of the criterias but not the other this one has the other one but not the first one this one has both so my answers for each row is zero 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 one that is literally what the answers are for this gate. Moving on to the next one. This one's the same thing. We're going to write the chart. Put the chart up. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now in this case, now in this case, this person right here isn't as picky. It's either or. So this person doesn't need all the glass, doesn't need all of it. It likes to settle. It's like, all right, cool, I'll date you. It's all good. All right. So this one is any, any ones will do. It's not as picky. This one isn't as picky. So basically what it is is I will settle for at least something. 
anything, whatever personality or beauty, whatever the case may be, or I might just get lucky and I got all of it. You got all of it, woo! But I will, I will be okay with dating something or another. So if we go through this little scenario, the first one, zero, zero, is this one going to date this first person? No, because there's nothing, nothing available. What about the second one? Yes, because there's at least one characteristic that I like about this person. So yes, I will consider it. What about this one? The second, the third row. Yes, also, because there's again a one on it. This one has both, which means oh, I got lucky. Cool. So this one is a yes. Any questions on those? Pretty easy. All right. So, any questions on these two? These are the most common ones, the AND gate and the OR gate. We'll do a couple of more. On page 8, or not page 8, problem 8. You're going to do this one first, problem 8. This is called an exclusive OR, or in this case, an XOR. An XOR. An XOR means it's an exclusive OR. It's only exclusive to a specific answer. One specific answer, or technically two. It does not like doubles. It hates doubles automatically. So on this case, it hates doubles. Doesn't matter what the doubles are. Could be double zeros, double ones. It just hates doubles. So the only answer it will accept, the only answer it will accept are one zero or zero one. These are the only answers that I'm willing to take. So we write our nice little chart again. Two, three, four, five. Again, like I said, you will memorize this chart very, very quickly. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Problem eight. It should be problem eight on this one. Yeah, question eight. Yeah, you can write that right there. Yes. You can write it on your chart. The first line should be A and B and Y. Your first row, because I gave you enough rows. So, in this case, Miss Rachel, would you like to tell me which two answers are the only ones that work here? The second and third one, that is correct. The second and third one are the only ones that work, because those don't have doubles. Fairly easy, correct? Not too, not too difficult yet. We'll combine them all after. We're going to go back to page one. We're going to go back to this one right here. This should be on the first page. Once you're done copying. If you're done copying, let me know so I can move on. Cool. I think everyone's done copying. Great. This one right here is called an inverter. This is the third, this should be problem question three, back on the first page. Inverter, does anyone know what an inverter does? Definition of an inverter, the word inverter means to do? Inverse, inverse or in simpler terms, the opposite, okay? Basically, you're doing the opposite of what it puts in. How many inputs do you have going in? One. one. So you have one answer going in, spits out another. You have one thing going in, it spits out something else on the outside. So we only have one, We only have two situations that this thing can work on. It's either what or what? Zero or one. Basically, it's either zero or one, which means that it's going to spit out 
answers based off of that. If I have a zero going in, I should get a one going out. If I have a one going in, I should have a zero going out. Problem three. Yeah, that one. Look at the picture. Okay, there's another way of writing this. You'll see it on one of the problems later on. An inverter can also be written as, let me put it in red, can also be written as just a little dot. A little dot represents an inversion. So if you look at one of the problems, I think it's problem 12. You do the problem the same without the dot, then take the dot and flip all your answers. Simple. Very simple. So you do you do the problem without the dot. So look at the picture, look at the look at the symbol without the dot. Tell me what that symbol is. Do the problem it is, and then flip all your answers after. We'll go through that and you'll see how it works. Okay. Last one. You're gonna put this, you're gonna put this on the side. Please draw it on the side of the first page. We have three inputs on this one. So if you can put it on the side, please draw it on the side right here. Just draw it on the right hand side. Make this, make this picture. This is an AND gate, which means that it likes all ones. But it has three inputs, which means that we have to make a bigger chart because there's three inputs. This is just to show you that if the chart needs to be bigger, the chart's going to get bigger. Okay? The lab's gonna have one with four inputs and